Welcome to this video segment where I'm gonna give you one hopeful tip here that helps you if you haven't been arrested or even if you have been arrested. Hopefully this video and this whole video series is going to help you understand some of the things that we as criminal defense attorneys wish you knew ahead of time. My name is Zach Divelbus. I'm the owner of Future First Criminal Law and I am passionate about helping people before they get in trouble. So please watch this video and let's learn a little bit more about how we can help you. This is super important. Number 13 here is the state. That's the prosecutor. Decides whether to prosecute a case, not the alleged victim. Many people mistakenly believe that they cannot be prosecuted for criminal acts unless the alleged victim chooses to press charges. This is completely untrue. The prosecuting authority, usually the state or the district attorney's office, makes the decision as to whether or not a suspected criminal act or a criminal suspect will be prosecuted. Similarly, alleged victims can't drop the charges. So often prosecutors will listen to the wishes of the victims and their families, but the decision to abandon or move forward with the case solely relies and lies with the prosecutor. In addition, many prosecutor offices have a strict no drop policy with respect to certain crimes, such as domestic violence, and they will never dismiss the case based on the wishes of the alleged victim. This is so important because this is something that in the Phoenix area, our prosecutors follow almost habitually. Police will show up to a domestic violence situation. The situation will be heated for five minutes. Someone might get arrested and the next day, the victim will call in and say, hey, I wanna drop the charges. Well, too bad, too sad, the victim does not control whether charges can be dropped or even whether charges can be filed. That is solely up to the prosecutor. This is so important because on the counter end, people call us all the time and they say, hey, Zach, I would like to press charges criminally against this person. Too bad, too sad. We don't actually get to do that. Only the prosecutor can do that and the prosecutor needs a police report. Well, guess what? If we represent you in a criminal case where you know that the victim has dropped the charges in their mind and they no longer want to participate as a victim, then great, that absolutely will help your case, but that does not automatically guarantee that your charges and your case gets dismissed. So it's important that you hire us in order to help you do this. There are ways for us to work with our prosecutors to dismiss cases, ways to get you out of jail, get you back home, get you back in contact with whoever it is that you're not allowed to be in contact with but so often people make the mistake that they're just gonna go to court by themselves. And because the victim says that, oh, you're fine, I, you know, that prosecutor you know, doesn't have my support, that's not what's gonna happen. And guess what? When you go to court, there's no way we can then go back in time and help you. So if you agree to something, or if you tell the prosecutor something and it ends up hurting you or not giving you the best outcome, too bad, too sad. So that's why hopefully this video helps you now understand that even if you think it's a minor situation, even if you know that the person who was involved isn't going to press charges, it's important for you to hire us now. Here at Future First Criminal Law, we want to help keep good people out of jail. We've been in your shoes before. We know what it's like. Please feel free to contact us if you believe you're a good fit for us and have a criminal case and you don't belong in jail.